Hey, bestie besties, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. I wanted to spend a separate video talking about SCHD, why I like it so much, share our dividend from SPLG, and just, you know, talk about our strategy moving forward. So, again, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a fiduciary, I'm not a guru. Your girl is making videos from her bedroom. <laughs> I'm an investor like you. I just happen to make videos. And I think it's good to see like another regular person talking about their journey, right? To get motivation, to be encouraged, to be inspired, um, to be like the millionaire next door. And that's what my husband and I are literally the millionaires next door. Um, so let's talk about SCHD first. So you guys know I'm a big fan of SCHD. They just had their um, SCHD reconstitution uh, what, a couple weeks back. And they took out some companies, added some new companies. And um, I don't know why they took out Broadcom, but they added some new ones. And again, SCHD, I like, one reason why I love it so much is that it doesn't have a whole lot of technology in it. I don't mind a, a little bit, but if you're in VOO or even VTI, if you look at the top 10 holdings in those ETFs, most of them are tech-based companies. You have Amazon and Google and Microsoft, you know, you have a lot of like tech based companies and technology is a really great sec sector. I think it's the most popular sector because a lot of those companies, you know, have a high valuations. Do I think some of them are overvalued? Yes. Um, but, you know, they're really popular. But I do think there are other industries and other sectors in the stock market that don't get a lot of love that are represented in SCHD, you know, healthcare, financials. And yeah, you have like higher interest rates, but Jerome Powell talked about, you know, rate cuts coming later this year, which is one reason why I think the stock market is doing so well right now. But again, I'm just trying to give you like some background insight into why we like SCHD. Um, but I like the fact that SCHD is not so tech heavy, right? We already own a lot of technology individually and inside of other ETFs. Um, and so, I like SCHD primarily for that reason. Um, I do trust the fund managers. It is passively managed, meaning they go in once a year to, you know, restructure the fund. But I do believe in the fund managers. I do think they do a great job. I am keeping an eye on it, though, because, you know, I did not like Broadcom being taken out, though that is a tech company. It has been doing great. Um, but again, they're trying to focus more on dividend safety, right? Companies that they feel like will continue to keep their dividend versus cut it. If you did not know when the pandemic first happened, there were several companies who actually cut and paused their dividend. Um, Disney famously paused theirs. Div Disney paid a dividend before the pandemic. They reinstated it now, but for I think three years, it was paused. And so they're really trying to err on a side of safety, which I do understand. Um, so, you know, SCHD at the last update I did, we had 135, 36 shares, um, with the new dividend. So let me share with you the dividend. I do have my dividend book. If you want your copy, physical and digital, check out the information down below. It's always there, always, always there. But, um, if we come to, let's come to M1 first. So I want to start there because we've received a small dividend in SCHD. That's from our investing challenge. So $1 a day. A lot of people have joined this challenge because they don't have a lot of money to invest. They want to start. They want to make sure they're building up something for their later years for retirement. And they love the fact that we're all doing this together. This is not something I just started just to be starting. It's been four years, four long years. Check out my beginner investing playlist. Check out my investing challenge playlist. But I've been doing these videos faithfully. This is year four. And, you know, teaching you guys the importance of research. Um, financial literacy, dollar cost averaging, and investing with small amounts, not knocking your dollar or $2 or $5. Those all add up as well. So we received one dividend in SCHD from M1. That was for 25 cents, 25 cents, a whole quarter, right? I could put a quarter in a meter and SCHD would pay for me to have 30 minutes while I go into a store. That's how you got to think about it, right? Um, because again, it's small beginnings add up to big outcomes, right? Small beginnings add up to big outcomes. That's a something like a quote I can put on a shirt. That's my quote, so don't take it. <laughs> um, and then also, I did talk about this in the last video, but VOO, 18 cents. 
in the one dollar a day investing challenge so a lot of you are getting your first dividends ever because you started to invest and now you're seeing the possibilities of what your small amounts can add up to so shout out to all of you uh, but yeah so SCHD and M1 paid us 25 cents let's come on over to interactive brokers SCHD paid us at interactive brokers a whopping 326 smackaroos and 92 cents over $326 just from one ETF. Now keep in mind, SCHD pays out every quarter. Some stocks pay out every month, like QILD, Main Street, Realty Income, they pay out every month. Some pay out every quarter, some pay out twice a year, some pay out once a year. And then yes, there are some companies that don't pay a dividend at all. Amazon is one of those companies. They don't pay out a dividend. So, you know, it's, it's really great to see how us building our share sizes up and a lot of you keep me so motivated when you share like you have a thousand shares in a different in a, in a specific etf or you have two thousand shares in a specific stock and you will tell me you started at one right you just you're consistent you built up your share size you want to know how we're able to get 326 dollars from SCHD? build up our share size we have Five, we have 535 shares when we receive this dividend. Now we have 539, I think. But again, you build up your share sizes. That's the secret to all of this. Anyone would tell you that. You want bigger returns? You want a bigger dividend? You need to build up your share sizes. And the best way to do that is to take it by piece by piece. Start with one share as your goal. Then build up to five, then 10 then 25, then 50, then 100. And I'm telling you, it works. A lot of people have told me this. It works. Build up your share sizes. That's why in this book, I have a, um. do I have a, yeah, a share size builder right there. Can you see? Right there in the book so that you can track your share sizes, right? So you can build up. But yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy that we received that much from SCHD. Um, let's come over to SPLG. So this is one that I've been really liking. This tracks the S&P 500. So very much like VU had the same returns last year as VU did. They pay a dividend, a lot of the same um, companies inside of the fund. And the firm is really great. Straight State Street Global Advisors, it's like a tongue twister, but another great investment firm. I think it was founded maybe three or four years after Vanguard was actually founded in the 70s. Um, so really good. Again, not financial advice, but I'm trying to, you know, open your eyes up to what else is out there, right? Um, because SCHD was not always popular like it is now. VOO was not popular like it was. It is now. For the longest time, it was kind of like under the radar a little bit, but now everybody knows about it. So I really have been liking SPLG. It has been growing as well. I think year to date is up 10%. But when I come to Robinhood, we received, we have 50 shares over there and we received $10.12 and a dividend from there. So again, we just started, I think this year or at the end of December and we're up to 50 shares in Robinhood and we received $10.12. Coming over to Interactive Brokers, we have a hundred shares there and we received $20.24. So when you combine like SPLG and Interactive Brokers and SPLG and Robinhood, over 30 bucks. And the reason why we have these different portfolios is that they're for our early retirement. So Robinhood will be the first account we will touch in our early retirement years. Then it will be um, Interactive Brokers. M1, and again, I'm going to transfer this account probably over to Fidelity because they're going to be charging me a $3 monthly like fee for the account when I can go to Fidelity, Cash App, Robinhood, Vanguard, or wherever and open up a taxable account for free, right? I, I don't want to pay it. It's like with checking accounts. Why would I pay a monthly fee to have a checking or savings account where there's so many other ones online and brick and mortar that's offering them for free? So no, <laughs> I don't want to pay that. In terms of our future goals for these. So um, the long-term goal for SCHD is a thousand shares. Now we, we are more than halfway there, but we still got a long way to go. Remember SCHD, I think at the recording of this video is over $79. Um, which is not, you know, cheap, but, you know, building up our share sizes every week is a goal of ours. Do I think we'll get to a thousand shares by the end of this year? Probably not. I'm just being honest with you guys, especially with buying a fourth property and, you know, the money that goes into that and making sure it's ready for a long term tenant and all of that. It's money that comes with that. I turned 40 this year, so that's money that comes with that. Uh, my daughter turns 18, like milestone things. I have a graduation coming up. There's a lot of great things. So, you know, those things require money. And I do believe in balance. But again, we're going to continue to just the dollar cost average 
N2, SCHD, SPLG, VTI, VU, Main Street, all of the goodies, right? And even the ones that we have our share size goals in. So JEPI and Realty Income and all of that. You know, we're just going to use those dividends to help fund SCHD, help to build up SPLG, help to build up VTI and all of that. So, you know, I'm really, I'm excited to see the progression, right? It's about taking one step at a time not trying to rush it, but to enjoy the journey. I actually enjoy documenting our journey to financial freedom. I enjoy it um, because it allows me to see what's possible when I really stick to something, um, have the proper mindset, being consistent, talking to my husband about it, really putting our money to work for us. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you are invested in SCHD, let me know um, if you care to share how much you received in a dividend um, and then share with me something that you're looking forward to the next payout, right? SCHD pays out again, I think the end of June. So you got some time, same with SPLG, same with VTI, VOO at the end of June. So we have some time to like come up with a strategy, be consistent and build up our share sizes. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Smash notification bell so that you don't miss upload every time I post a video and share with a friend. If you know somebody who could use some motivation, always share down below. Again, guys, thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.